Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Morris Mano and Michael Siletti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.23 from the chapter number 3. The problem is implement the following boolean function capital F together with the don't care conditions small d. Okay, we are given a function capital F and a function small d this small d is for the don't care conditions so using no more than two nor gates that means we have to make a logic circuit using this function and don't care conditions and we cannot use more than two nor gates then we are given assume that both the normal and complement inputs are available that means we can give directly a normal input suppose a and complemented input a bar we can give it directly to the nor gates okay so this is the problem so first of all let us make the k map and simplify this boolean function okay so k map will have four variable k map okay so it is a four variable map we will have This problem actually I took from the fifth edition of the book. Okay, so let us fill up this table now. Okay, before fill up, let us write down this is A, this is B, and this one is C, and this part, this two column is D. Let us first fill up this function 2, 4, 2, 4, 10, 12, 14. So 0, 1, 2. So put a 1 here. Okay, 2. Then we have 3, 4, then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then go this one, then, then 11, then 12, 13, then 14, 15. Okay, so this is the function. Then we also have to put this don't care conditions 0, 1, 5, 8. So 0, we will put a cross here okay this don't care conditions mean, means they can be either zero as well as one they can be any one of the zero or one that means we can combine this don't care conditions with zero as well as one so zero one five eight zero one two three four five then we have six seven and eight so we'll put the other boxes the empty boxes will zero with zero because these are the empty box that means we'll have zero values here if we consider the zero values we'll get the f complement function i will select the zero values and we will get the f complement function so these zeros are combined and we are left with this zero so we'll put a combination here okay so we'll have only two terms so let us write down because we have considered zero values here okay so we'll write f bar f bar equal to so from this combination we will get a b will be cancelled and we will have d from these two rows second and third row we will have d okay d plus from this term we will get a bar b and c a bar b c okay so this is the complement function now we can rewrite it as if we take the again complement it will become f the function f Okay, and we have to put here a complement D plus A bar B C whole bar. Okay, then we can again simplify it as D plus this A into B into C. Suppose A bar into B into C. So using the Morgan's theorem, we can rewrite it as A plus B bar plus C bar whole bar, then whole complement. So this is the function now we can use nor gets okay this uh, in the question we are given that we can use any input nor get okay we can have as many number of inputs but we can use only two numbers of nor, nor get okay so here for this term we will use a three input nor get and this will be added to this d okay and we have complement so we will have to use a nor get okay now let us make the logic diagram so we have input a b bar c bar and d so we'll have four input a b bar c bar and d okay so these are the input lines 
okay so we have first of all we'll make this term because we have to use this term we to add with d okay a plus b bar a plus b bar plus c bar we can directly give this input because in the question it is given assume both the normal and complement inputs are available so we made available this complemented inputs b bar and c bar okay so we'll use here a nor gate okay so we'll get here a plus b bar plus c bar whole bar okay so at this nor gate output we'll get this one then we have to add this two with d and we have complement so we can use another nor gate okay another nor gate so and this will be one input this term and we have d so we'll take a input from here so we'll get here the function f so here we can see that we have used only two number of nor gates to realize this function or to draw the circuit diagram of the given function okay so this is the solution of the problem thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you